Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been away for a very, very long time, but I'm back and I'm excited because I'm gonna share with you guys my Sephora haul from Phuket. I was supposed to leave this haul in my vlog, but it was a bit long, even though I didn't get a lot of products, but it was still only a bit long. So I thought I'd put it in a separate video. That's why I'm doing this intro. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel and yeah. Bye. I just mainly bought travel mini size products because I just wanted to try them out first So the first product that I got is from Fenty Beauty And it's the Pro Filter Powder um, And it's a setting powder in the shade Butter I wanted to have the lavender one but they only have the full size in the lavender color I didn't want to try a full size right away because the products are quite expensive and I want to be sure if I buy a full size one because they go a long way powders usually go a long way so this is how it looks like the travel version I'm not sure out of my head how much I paid for this but I will look it up and put it on the screen but yeah I'm really excited to try this out and see how the powder works the texture on my face kind of varies I have a combination skin type mainly an oily t-zone and the rest of my face just tends to go from dry to normal and my under eyes are really really dry so I'm curious to see how this works because I'm just hoping it will not look patchy or you will not see the dryness under my eyes but I will just have to try the product out and see how it works for my like skin type and then the next product I got is the product I always get when I go to the Sephora I got their powder foundation this is the powder foundation in scent it's the B30 in medium but this is the powder foundation that I got I think this is a really good powder foundation and it just it's not as expensive as most of other powder foundations for example I really like the loose powders from Smashbox but those are like twice or th three times the price of this one and I also lately bought the powder foundation from MAC Cosmetics which is what I have on my face right now and I really like it I've been having this makeup face on for the whole day and it just works really well in this weather I got another face powder, well it's more of a setting powder I think for under the eyes But I'm not sure if you can use it for your whole face or if it's just meant to be for your face and over your eyes I have no clue I got the translucent setting powder from Hourglass And the packaging looks really cute, it's this is also a triple size mini one um, Because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the product, it looked very shiny in the store I just hope it's not very glittery because I'm not sure if I would like the way that looks But this is the mini version of the Veil translucent setting powder and I think it looks super cute and it's just so tiny and again with powders I feel like you can use powders for such a long time so I think a mini one will be good enough for me to you know try it out see how I like it if I would invest in a bigger sized one so the next three products are skincare products if you've watched my previous Sephora video you saw I got the purple clay mask as well and I really liked it so I thought I would try some different ones out so I've got myself the green one with green clay obviously it's purifying and pore perfecting which I need because my pores are huge and I just really want something against that and hopefully it it works and then I got the black one with charcoal I love face masks with charcoal and I think they work really well against my oily nose and t-zone but I just put it everywhere and it just works I like it and it feels really great but I haven't tested this one out yet or I haven't used it yet so I don't know if I will like this but I thought I would try out and it's bigger than the other ones I think the price was the same but I'm not sure and then I also got the blue one which is detoxifying and oxygenating oxygen Aiding. I have no clue how to pronounce it, but yeah, this is the blue clay mask. So the last product I got from Sephora is the Shape Tip Concealer from Tarte. Um, I got it in the shade Medium Scent, and I've always wanted to have a shape tape. I just really wasn't sure what shade I should get. So this is the shade that I got. Um, this is what medium scent looks like in the store. It looked good enough for my skin So now I could just check out myself what kind of shade would be like fitting for my skin tone And I didn't buy a travel sized one because I really 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 wanted to try this one out I tried it out in the store. I really like the way it covered and blended So hopefully it will just look as good when I try it back at home But I'm really excited and I'm happy with this because I've been wanting to have a shape tip from the moment It came out and all the hype and stuff which is probably one or two years ago already. Yeah, so I thought I would just show you guys what I got from the Sephora.